Hello Stampin' Friends, how are you tonight? I am here to bring you a video on the Aspen um, tree dies from Stampin' Up. My name is Rita Holmes and I am an independent demonstrator from Stampin' Up. I live in Ohio and um, I just love making cards and I love teaching cards. So that is why I am in here. I am going to uh, refresh my computer so that I can make sure I see this on the computer so that when I do go to stamping, we will be able to see what I'm doing. There we go. I think we're good. Alrighty. So, anyway, um, before we get started with my cards, I want to um, tell you that, you know, it is November. Stampin' Up! has their Fitting Florets suite on sale from now till January 4th, which means that is a new bundle that is going to be out in the catalog that's coming out in January. It's only going to be the stamp set and the die cut, the bundle, but they have a suite of other products they've brought out that you can buy now to use with those at all coordinates. Um, there is a um, Christmas set of sayings. There's some swirl, little gold swirl dye, um, embellishments, and there's also some DSP. Now, those three things will not be in the catalog come January, so those are things you can get now. When I flip my camera, I will show you that. I also want to tell you that um, Stampin' Up! is going to have a sale November 9th and 10th, which is this, this Wednesday and Thursday. It'll be when you see this. Um, video, which will be on Wednesday, um, that you can um, order previous um, paper pumpkin kits or refill kits. Some of them will be up to 50% off, so you can go to the online store. I'd like for you to visit my online store if you don't already have a demonstrator, and that will show up when we turn the camera. You'll be able to see my store name, which is freedahomes.stampinup.net, and I have a host code that I'd like for you to use if you could do that. I also want to tell you that um, I'm trying to recruit right now. I want to build my team, so if you've ever been thinking about join in Stampin' Up, you have questions or whatever, I'd love to answer those for you because um, I just love Stampin' Up and I love what I'm doing and I'd love to share that with you and I'd love for you to join my team. So if you're thinking about that and would like to maybe get on board with me, I would really, really appreciate it. So I want to tell you all that and, and just be upfront about where I'm coming from. So, with all that being said, I think I'm going to turn my camera, and uh, so if you get dizzy or anything, shut your eyes. I'm going to be flipping my camera up, so you'll see the ceiling in that for a minute. But while I do that, or before, um, or after, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do so. Just hit that little um, bell and subscribe and uh, make sure you get the notifications for that so you'll know that when, I, when I'm when i on. I also would like for you to share the video and let some of your other Stampin' Friends see what I do and that and um, maybe they'll get ideas and we can all make new friends. Um, and also, don't uh, be shy. Give me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking when you're watching my video. I would love it. So let me get this camera going so everybody hide your eyes. Do whatever while I pop this up. And there we go. I think we're good. So let's sit down and see how we're doing here. I think we're good. Okay, here's my PDF which is on my um, Facebook group called Stamp Crazy VIP. You are more than welcome to go there and um, cut that off center, don't I? Pull it down. You can go there and pick up any of my PDFs on my cards that you see. And I don't know why I look so crooked. Must be my phone's crooked. I'm not going to try to straighten it. I'll just straighten the cards up. There we go. 
let's do that. So anyway, um, but you can get the PDF over there. It gives you a list of everything that I used and how I did the card. Also, these are the cards. We're only going to be doing one of them. We're going to be um, mixing up a little bit of what I got here. So, um, but I did use our, our uh, brushed metallic papers that I like really well. We're going to be using the gold. The um, DSP that I used is the textured chic paper. They have one side of it all has gold that goes through it. It is right here. It's beautiful paper. Um, it's got a stamp set that goes with it, too. I just have been using the paper. I just love paper. But it's got, like, there's a pinkish color with gold dots. There is. Here's the one that I'm using tonight. It just got a lot of color in it. And it's got a... Pinks and pool parties and gold. This is your green soft succulents and golds. And then that is like, kind of reminds me of trees with the wood texture over it. Here's like crushed curry and some pinks and golds. And um, kind of a watercolor flower imprint on there is that. Here's some... Um, it looks like it might be Flirty Flamingo or Clips of Coral with gold. And then this flower images with the greens and the... And then this is just greens and gold with snowflakes. White with different greens. Really different, really pretty. Um, I think that's why it's called tex Textured Chic. It's got that really chicish look to it and just really, really pretty. Kind of different to use. I really like that about it. So let's get started with our cards. There is my information if you need it. My online store, my host code, and uh, that you can always get a hold of me there. You can um, get a hold of me by through the comments here. So let's get together and show you, I'm mixing this up a little bit. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about these cards. This is like a brushed gold with the Texture Chic Designer Series paper. I did um, that soft succulent with the gold. Um, I did a sentiment with the Wildlife Yonder because I really like this Sending Birthday Wishes. And uh, just cut that, and I put a leaf on the inside to write a sentiment or whatever in there. This one, I used the, um, what I used was, for my saying, I used these charming sentiments that has the dies that match them. Like, this is the die that I used with... Wishing you the happiest of birthdays, and it just cuts it out like this, which I think is pretty cool. And I use the Perched on a Tree, which actually bundles with the Aspen dies. Used the bird and watercolored it, and then used my textured chic paper back, back there. So that's what I used on that card. And this card here is just the back side to this paper, done the same way. Okay, so that's three cards. Now tonight, we're going to use these the Evening Evergreen as our card base, and it measures five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So we'll just take and fold that and burnish it so it stays closed. We'll move these cards and that up out of the way a little bit. Here's what the Aspen dies look like. If you haven't seen those, is this one, this big oval. That looks like an Easter egg to me. But that's what I used, and I've already cut it out, so let me show you. I cut this five and a quarter by four, and then this laid on here. And as you can see, that's how it cut it out, okay? So that's what I used there. And then I took, for my leaves, I used this big leaf here. And this small one that's sitting right here inside the bird, 
I used those two leaves and cut out my leaves for the cards. So, we will... And what I did, this is five and a quarter by four, so I cut this down to five and an eighth by three and seven eighths so that it would fit right on the back and see how pretty that is. So what I did, we're going to turn this over and I'm going to put glue along the outside edge and that way... Because it's such a small area. And I am going to stick it on a couple little, just a couple tiny little dots to hold the tree trunk down. Okay? So we have just a few dots there. Then I will take my paper. And I will lay that right here in the center. Let me turn it over and show it to you. Isn't that pretty? How that just shows through like that. I love this paper. So now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to just go ahead and glue this on my card front because I do have little bit of sticky back here just from um, where I glued that down. So let's turn this around. We're going to glue this here. And that's going to be on our card base. So I'm going to just give this a little because we want that dye to be down there really good. So there we go with that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this to the inside. Because I'm not going to stamp on it. I'm just going to add a leaf to it. So let's go ahead and put this down. I've been into doing some easy cards. I mean, they have a little wow factor to them, but they're easy. I'm going to add my leaf to the inside, and I cut a gold one to go in that. So let me put that down. Well, wow. Stuck to my finger. There we go, with that being down. Now what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just put a dimensional on my, in the center of this little leaf. And I'm just going to add that to the front of this leaf. And then I'm going to take this leaf and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put it on here, but I'm going to put it on with some dimensionals. Okay, let's do this. One up here. And one right here. I'm going to leave it open down here a little bit because I'm going to be sliding my cardstock under that, I think. So let's just put our leaf maybe about right here. And then I'm gonna take my piece of, I used very vanilla, cause I didn't want it stark white. And here's my sending birthday wishes and I'm gonna stamp that in the center and I'm gonna use soft suede. I didn't wanna use black. I wanted to use something that would be a little contrast, but not black. So I'm doing soft suede, or is it early? Yeah, soft suede, that's what I've got. And I'm gonna take that, stamp that right in the center. And that piece measures three quarters by four inches. 
so that I can um, cut my edges off a little bit. So let's shut that or I'll have ink all over my card because I'm bad about that. I'm bad about a lot of things when it comes to, to this stuff, let me tell you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm just going to cut this edge up. I'm going to come over, turn it upside down and cut this one down. So that I have a little different look there. I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to put a Stampin' Dimensional just right here on this side. Just one. Okay. And I will go ahead and add just a tiny bit of glue right here. Because that is going to tuck under my leaf right here. And that will hold that down. Now, you notice I put a um, little bit bow there. I'm going to leave this plain. The reason being is because I got my little leaf stem sticking there. So I'm going to leave it plain. I think these look very masculine. So I think they make nice masculine birthday cards. And that is what I'm going to be using these for. In fact, I'm even going to use this one for a masculine one, I think. Or I might not. I might use it for a lady's birthday. I'm always doing birthday cards, so they work out really good for me. So, therefore, is another fast card for you. You know, once you get this die cut, cut out, it's so simple to cut. You know, you just cut your, your paper, and you don't have to use the foils. You can use another, you know, you could use regular card stocks or whatever. I just kind of like the look of the foils, and I don't use foils that much, and I was just trying to use up some stuff that I don't usually use, and just, you know, just trying to, to do a little bit of that. And um, so this is what I have for all of these cards. So, um but I'm going to send these as masculine birthday cards because I do I do send cards. My got my my sister and my husband's uncle are both in the same nursing home, and I do all the birthday cards for all the residents every month. Um, I have the activities director sends me a list of the birthdays for the month, and I get cards ready and put the dates on them for on the front of them for them. And I actually I sign it from the activities department. And um, so the activities department hands those out to people on their birthdays. So I do that every month. And then I do birthday cards for all my ch the church members at our church. So I'm always needing masculine cards or, um, you know, just all kinds of birthday cards. So I kind of like to have a little file system that's just birthday cards for church. And, and I use those. So... Anyway, that's what I do. I do want to tell you I'm having knee surgery next week. So I don't know when I'll be back for a video. I'm going to try to have one next week before I do have my surgery on Wednesday, November 16th at 7.30 in the morning. i got to be at the hospital at 5.30. And uh, that's, that's really early for me. Really early for me. So, because I'm a late night person. I like to stay up late. So, anyway, I'm going to be having surgery. Then I won't be able to come downstairs to my craft room for a couple weeks because it is in my basement. And um, even though they say there's no restrictions on steps, I have 13 steps that come down to my basement. So, I got to wait until my leg gets strong enough to so I don't fall. So, with all that being said... I will see you again, hopefully, one more time before I do have that surgery. I hope you enjoyed this card, and if I can be of any help to you in ordering or um, talking to you about becoming a team member or whatever, I would really like to do that. Um, so, just give me a comment about it if that's what you would like, or you can go to my um, store, or you can email me at... Rita Holmes, 
0611 at gmail.com. And I'll get back with you as soon as I can. And I want everybody to have a blessed night or day, whatever time it is you're watching this. I just hope you um, have a good day. Thank you. Bye.